I was alluding to this when I made my Lex Luger video, but there are those combinations of artists that always comes up with something great when they uh, work together. Uh, Drake and 40, Boy Wonder, Travis, uh, Mike Dean and Wonder Girl. But one of my kind of favorite and also something that I've been following for a while is the Justice League and Rick Ross. I've been a big fan of these two artists coming together since songs like uh, 10 Jesus Pieces. Uh, Triple Beam's Dreams, but also songs like uh, Amsterdam, although that was produced by uh, Cardiac, I think. So uh, today I just wanted to create that sort of uh, epic vibe. Uh, as this type of thing tends to go, I started with the sample. So that would be the main sample that I will be working with. So I took small chops, uh, small loops off of that sample and then brought uh, brought them into Sampler in Logic. And then from there, I'm just kind of intending to play around with different little loops like uh, this. Another chop is this one. Yeah. And then I just have these chops uh, kind of everywhere. I'm trying to figure out eventually what I can do with it. But first, I guess these kind of uh, music always start with the drums. For this, I went for, uh, I guess, a live drum because it has all those live drums elements. I went and uh, chose uh, Logic's uh, Retro Rock Kit, I think this is. So I went ahead and started with that. And then the snares. And I have some little ghost snares here and there and pan, so it kind of gives uh, a dimension. Added uh, hi hats. And then to add to the epicness, of course you have the, the, the percussion roll. Something like this, uh, I just bounce that out and have uh, have the percussion kind of sprayed around. Uh, I added some EQs to kind of filter the, the lows of the percussions. So you already feel like it's kind of epic. <laughs> From there, I just needed uh, some keys because I didn't really know where to put the sample yet. be some some keys to play with the keys you kind of already feel that that the vibe man uh, then i went ahead and bounced that uh i sent it to uh my reverb the my bosses that has a reverb is already in my template so i just click and everything comes up little eq Of course, a side chain, and then I added Arturia's uh, chorus uh, plugin. Although I was looking for like the piano type of vibe, I was kind of playing around with this and having that chorus sound kind of made it even better. And then some sort of organ playing the same notes. I balanced that out as well. It's pretty quiet in the mix. I just send it to uh, my buses again, template, and those are sent to uh, chorus, Logic's chorus, and uh, rotary cabinet. From there, I was kind of looking for some sort of strings, so then I have this same note still. give it a little bit more dimension I bounce that out and then pan it to the uh, right so from here the instrument is kind of there but I was kind of looking for uh, a little bit more of the higher note strings so I found this all of these are from Arturia's uh, analog lab Then 
then I bounce that out. It sits pretty low in the mix. It is panned to the left. But for this one, I added uh, these. <laughs> this has been my favorite plugin so far. Filter uh, MS-20. It is pretty quiet. But it adds a little bit of movement to the to the sounds. But with all of this, I was still looking for that kind of uh, high notes. I guess like string sounds. Kind of same notes as always. And then I also bounced that out. Had it a little uh, reverb. But I was still kind of missing that like super high strings like pluck. So I went ahead and found this. So I play this on top. I'm not really sure yet where to put this, but you know, let's see. So what I did with this is that I, I bounced it up and then I put it up an octave. Then this is everything. Everything is side chain to the kick, but I, f I felt like I was kind of missing since there was a lot of instrument, I felt like I was missing uh, some sort of distortion on the entire instrument. So I added a little radiator. Uh, so here is without. It's there, but it seems a little bit like buried. So I added uh, some distortion. And you can feel it's there. the drums it's like this and then to add to the epicness let me just add a little bit of EQ to that that crash some reverb again everything is template based so just few clicks away. kind of like that whooshing sound all right so this is everything so far and then it's just a matter of uh the sample let me add a little eq to the sample Maybe let me figure out the bass. A nice guitar bass. Again, as this is kind of a like template bass, so I have my bass right here. It has already a few stuff uh, on on it. Uh, this Logic's uh, bass effects, and then some 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 EQs. I think everything is there. Oh, this thing, this thing. So I have plugged in the uh, Korg Monotron. I'm kind of play, trying to play uh, some sort of effects while the beat is playing, something like. So let's see. Just try to maybe put together some sort of arrangement. So yes, after a little bit of a quick arrangement, small mixes, and also I added a few things here and there, kind of ended up with, with, with something that I that, uh, I do really like. I added a little bit of change at the end of the beat so that everything doesn't kind of get always the same thing uh but yes this is the this is this is kind of my recreation of that epic vibe as i mentioned there are always there are plenty of combinations of artists that always make great stuff out there uh you know it's not necessarily kind of hip-hop based uh stuff uh, but it's also kind of in artistry field in general. There are always kind of groups of uh, groups of uh, 
talented individual that comes together and always makes something great. So yeah, tell me, uh, what is your favorite uh, combinations of uh, artists? Uh, is, it even, is it even necessary? Do you think that, you know, someone, one person can, can carry an entire thing? Uh, also, maybe what is your idea on collaboration and stuff like that? So yeah, this is the, the full beat. Thank you for watching and uh, I will catch you on the next one.